Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome, and I want to thank you for joining uh, us this morning and for coming to the Skillman Foundation for what we believe is a really important and historic occasion. Excellent Schools Detroit is a diverse cross-section of Detroit's education, government, civic, community, parent, organized labor, and philanthropic leaders who are committed to ensuring that all Detroit children receive the education they deserve. Let me just um, uh, outline a few highlights from the report. Um, first, our focus is on students, not institutions. This is a citywide plan to help all children, whether they happen to attend a traditional public school, a public charter school, or an independent school. For too long, much of the focus in Detroit has been on adults, on issues like who has power, who doesn't, who gets to hand out jobs and contracts, who doesn't, enough of that. That's right. It's time for children's interest to take center stage. We intend to move quickly and boldly because the city's children are so far behind, Detroit must improve its schools faster than any other city has done. The ground is shifting beneath us, whether we like it or not. We intend to hold all schools in the city accountable for meeting high standards. Every school should provide a quality education regardless of whether that school is overseen by an emergency financial manager, the mayor, school board, state agency, charter authorizer, independent school trustees, or education management organizations. Everybody needs to be accountable for results. We will help bring in new talent. Children will not thrive unless we can hire the most talented school leaders to run our schools and great teachers to teach in them. We need many more talented educators. We have some, but we need more, whether they're from Detroit or not. And finally, we want to step up and take responsibility. Previous reform plans have focused on telling others, mainly Detroit public schools, what to do. By contrast, our plan focuses on spelling out what we as leaders are committed to do through our own organizations. We want to open 70 new high-performing schools, and we believe a single point of accountability is the way that we should go. The mayor of Detroit should have responsibility for Detroit public schools, but we need to build public support within our community for that to happen. There are many models of mayoral accountability, and we will talk about that later, but I want to assure you that it, nothing in what we have discussed as a group means that the, the mayor actually runs individual schools. But now I want to turn it over to Robert Bob of DPS, who has been a solid partner in this process. I'm very pleased uh, to be joined by three graduates of the Detroit Public Schools. Uh, that's uh, Carol, Doug, and Shirley. What I like about this plan is that it does not target the Detroit public schools as the only system of schools that needs improvements. In fact, it demands high education standards for charter schools, independent schools, private schools, and Detroit public schools. Because as we know, there are far too many schools, charters and others throughout the city that are failing our kids and many of them are not in the Detroit public school system. With this plan as a guide and as the city, as the new citywide standards and accountability commission, as an enforcer, we can single out and force closure of poor performing schools. And as I've always said, we welcome the competition. Charters, bring it on. The great thing about the citywide education plan, in my most humble opinion, is that we will now have assurance that someone is watching. Someone, some organization is watching 
an organization which is independent of the Detroit Public Schools and independent of the charter providers. The leaders and organizations who create the citywide plan will demand that the promises we made, that those promises are kept. And then they will use their force of advocacy to force those who are in charge of those schools to close those schools and get out of the way and do what's best for kids. Thank you. I have the privilege of coming between uh, Mr. Bob and Doug Ross, and if you had been at some of those 7 a.m. meetings, you would know what that means. And so um, I'm excited to be here. Um, parents have to take more responsibility, but I believe parents are, more, are ready more than ever to step up. Um, their voice is getting stronger, and Detroit Parent Network will use the hope that's in this plan to help mobilize parents around it. The plan recognizes that parents are a critical part of reaching 90-90-90. This plan also focuses on, um, you know, involving parents. And so we had six community meetings where parents came out and they were able to weigh in on different components of the plan. And one of the things that came up was um, the fact that we want quality schools for our kids, but don't close my school. And so as a community, we have to be ready to have that tough conversation. And we have to figure out how to get past that because if in essence we're fighting to keep open schools that are failing our kids, then we fail our kids. I believe in this plan. I also believe in parents and their ability to come together and to mobilize around it. I believe in our community leaders and I think with that type of support, we will get it done for our kids. That was Charlanda uh, Buckman, who is the executive director of Detroit Parent Network, and she will be followed by Doug Ross. This plan calls for a replacement strategy. It says low-performing schools, whether DPS, charter, or private, and there are failing schools in all those categories, need to be closed as soon as possible and new schools opened by leaders and organizations with a track record of educating urban kids well. The vision of this group is an education marketplace in Detroit with common high performance standards in which DPS, charter, and private schools compete for students around those academic standards. No more ambivalence about whether good performing charters harm DPS. Robert Bob, as you heard, has said, welcome more competition, he's told us over and over again, bring it on. Well, that's what we intend to do for the benefit of Detroit kids. So bottom line, the old plan said to parents, wait, be patient, give us another five years to improve the school where your child goes. This plan says, uh-uh, waiting's over. We're going to close low-performing schools, we're going to open new ones, and parents, now you have to take the initiative to go find the best school for your child. Big difference, new day. And now I'd like to introduce Shirley Stancato, who is the president of New Detroit Incorporated. We particularly like the fact that this initiative was designed from the beginning to be a very inclusive process. The goal was to bring people from different, every part of the community together. And when you bring lots of people together from different backgrounds, something we do every day at New Detroit, you get the best ideas of all those people involved. The result is a better product. We're going to ask uh, City Council President Charles Pugh to join us. He would like to have a uh, few comments. I just wanted to uh, say very briefly that uh, when Carol Goss came to my office and talked to me about this, I think I stood up and cheered. And I jumped up and down. And she said, is everything OK? I said, now it is. Uh, you know, as a, DP, a proud DPS graduate uh, and member of this community, it has, you know, I'm tired of shaking my head and wondering what we can do. I'm tired of there not being an independent um, party who is overseeing all of the education that goes on in this city. And so, you know, as, a, as the president of the Detroit City Council, let me say that I am excited, I am ready to work. I am ready to do my part because we can build all the shiny buildings in the world. We can attract all the innovative industries uh, on the planet to Detroit. 
but we will never repopulate the city if there is not strict oversight and an integrated process of all parts of this community to educating our children. Nothing we do will matter if our children are not first.